recorded. I have had a few issues with the recordings lately, so hopefully it will work accordingly. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. So you should be able to see desk um, and that's what we're going to we're going to get into today. So mycvdesk.com is really the best um, the best site for you to use rather than Realogy site, which is also great. Um, but this one is a lot more user friendly. So you're going to find all of your tiles, all of the apps and the tools that you need to do your business every day. Um, whether you've been with Cobalt Banker for a week or you've been here for 30 years, um, there are some changes to Desk that are worth uh, taking note of. Um, one of those big changes is you'll notice um, when you first come in, it's going to say good morning. It'll have your name. What are you looking for today? Sometimes this background changes a little bit. It can change for the holiday. Um, sometimes the, the picture is a little different. And then underneath you're going to find all of your apps. So these were recently updated. You're going to see this little green circle here. That's going to let me know that that's a productivity app. Um, some of the colors are a little harder to see. So we have blue. We also have black um, and some different colors for different products. Um, that's just to help you see what those products are for. And if you really want to dive in and see which product does what, there is a waffle menu here at the very top. Um, in that waffle menu, and I'll make the screen just a little bit larger so that we can see it together. Um, if I click on that waffle menu, you're going to see anything that's most recent will come to the top. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to go through and see productivity, so I was wrong. Productivity is blue, marketing is green, um, and then the marketing, and then also our open ecosystem, finance looks like a little bit more of like a teal, education are the black circles. Um, so it gives you just a little bit more information on those products, um, and again, marketing is green, blue is productivity, um, and you can go through and look at those that way as well. Um, you'll notice here we do have some updates over on the side. There used to just be a, a search bar here. If you're someone that likes to look at things in lists, um, you're able to do that. And, and if you're wondering how I'm making my screen larger and smaller, if you hit control and scroll on your mouse, that'll make it get bigger or make it get small. Um, so you can do a grid view, you can do a list view, whichever it is that you personally prefer. Um, you can also sort your apps now, custom, drag, and drop. So that's the one that I use the most frequently. I can just drag it, um, just click your mouse on it, left click and kind of drag it. You can drop it where you need it to go. Um, I tend to have mine in six across, just what I'm accustomed to. Um, and again, you'll see as I'm redoing uh, the size it'll tell me up here if I'm at 100% or maybe 125 or maybe at 80. Um, so I can always readjust that as I need to. I can have all of my most recent apps at the top um, or I can have them in alphabetical order. It really is just depending on what you prefer as an individual. We're all very different. There's no wrong answer. Um, and then we also have the filter button. So I definitely want to filter all of my uh, apps by category. I leave these all checked, but maybe I'm only looking for marketing. I can uncheck everything else and that's going to take everything else out of the equation. And now I only have my marketing tools on desk so I can easily look for what I need. <clears throat> I do want to check all of those, excuse me, when I'm done to make sure that then I can also find other things that I'm looking for. Now you'll see that when it did that, it took them out of the order that I was accustomed to having them in. Um, so I can go back through and filter those, or if I need to find an app, I can type in the app name here, um, and I search for social. Um, because I searched for social, it's going to bring up anything that has the word social in the title or in the description. Um, so you'll see here I found BrandServe, HomeSpotter, Boost, Social Ad Engine. Um, so I was looking for Social Ad Engine and here it is. Um, I can then go back and X off of that and everything will pop back up for me. 
Um, and again, I'm able to go through and kind of drag and drop these so that they are in the order that I would like them to be in. Um, one other option that you have when you click on my apps um, up here on this waffle menu is there is a settings bar. Um, if you click on that bar, you just want to make sure that you've toggled on for everything um, just so that that option is there for you. Um, you can see I don't have lead router just because I'm not allowed to get leads. I'm a referral agent, um, so although I'm licensed, I don't compete with you, so they don't give me leads. Um, but you'll see here everything I have toggled on. Um, so if you're not able to find something you may want to look back here in the background to make sure that it is turned on um, so that you're able to view that. Also favorites, that's one of my favorite parts of desk. Um, you're going to find that up here in the heart. If we click on this heart, um, all of our favorites will come up in a list uh, drop down menu. I can click through and get straight to Facebook. I can click through and get to Bright. Um, if I need to view that email signature tutorial to make sure that I have Cobalt Banker Realty and not residential brokerage on my email signature. Uh, maybe I want to get some first steps with Facebook for my business page. Anything that I need can be found there. I can also go into this bar and I can take them and kind of move them around. So maybe that bright, maybe I want to have that at the top. I can just take that and drag that to the top so that when I hit my favorites bar, it is the very first thing that comes up. I can just click on that and it's going to open a new um, a new window and it's going to take me directly to bright. So I can see here um, it has changed a little bit. Um, so I want to go ahead and change that in the background. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. You'll see once I've deleted it, it's gone. So it doesn't go into like a little trash can. I can't go and get it back, but I can add it again. So I go in and put in Bright MLS and that's home bright, or maybe I just wanted to say bright. So I can determine what the title is going to be. And then I'm going to add that to my favorites, and that's going to add that directly to the top. Um, you'll see I have Canva, there's Facebook, Unsplash.com. You can put in outside links as well, or anything that's in um, Coldwell Banker in this desk that you find that has a little heart. You can also add to your favorites so that if you if you don't remember how you got there and you don't want to have to go looking for it later, it's kind of a cheat sheet to save you time. One other thing that you can find here are notifications. Um, so we do have CB briefs. If you're not already familiar with those, that is just a short um, and sweet uh, method of Coldwell Banker giving us some good information. Um, they can be delivered daily. They can be delivered Friday, once a week to your inbox. Highly suggest that you don't turn them off just because this is going to notify you when there are new products in the pipeline. If something's going to be um, updated when Moxie and CBX were combined, we got some CB briefs articles letting us know it might be down at this date and time, but it's because we're splicing the two of them together and making them better. Um, so just know that that is there for you. If you would like some information about CB briefs, you can find that over on the side in the intranet. So this, this list over here on the left hand side is our intranet and you'll see if i click on company i can get to some good covid 19 information for our industry for coldwell banker realty i can get more information on how to sponsor saint jude maybe if i want to fill the form out and i want some money to come out of each settlement to support saint jude i can do that and then you'll see also here cb briefs news. So I'm also able to go in anytime that I need to and get more information. So you can see today heads up transaction manager is here. So you now have access to transaction manager. That is the simplified and improved system um, as opposed to using home base. So that's why it's really crucial to go in and see what some of these CB briefs are. It's going to give us a lot of notice that something has changed or been updated. 
Um, here we have on February 18th, and you can just click through on these, get a little bit more information, um, prepare to ace the spring market, and you'll see most of these are very short, very, very short, very easy to read. This is just a simple video message letting us know that next Thursday on the 18th at 2 p.m., we will have a special pop-up um, event that will feature two top performing agents and they will give us some tips and some strategies to help us grow our business. Um, so just know that CB Briefs is here. Again, you can go through and see just some different options, saving your clients money, uh, enhancing your listing with a free floor plan, um, just some different things in there that are available to us as Coldwell Banker agents. You'll also find a company directory, some core for information, policies, procedures, and reports. Um, so if you click on reports over here on the internet, you'll see a lot of the reports for recognition, for market share, for activity in the system, um, top individuals and teams. And just know that at the very, very bottom, there is um, a little arrow there for a drop down. There are three pages in here. And again, you can just click on any of that you need. The MA does stand for mid Atlantic. So I know that th that is a little weird, um, but you'll be able to pull up the recognition reports and see if you um, as an agent or your team have made any of those reports. And you'll also be able to see the dates that they were updated. So I like that they added that as well. We also have a marketing tab over here in the internet and everything on this left hand side is Coldwell Banker related. Um, so when we click on marketing, you're going to see some of the DIY marketing resources. Um, so we do have a variety of marketing materials, programs, tools that are available to you. Um, and these are all really designed with agents, um, not for agents. So they do have agents that work directly with them when they're creating any new tool um, or when they're improving new tools as well. So InTouch got a little bit of a facelift last year, and that was in direct result of agent feedback and what agents wanted to see for their websites. Um, you will see that there are helps in this area as well. Um, in just a moment, I'll show you the help desk, but all of those could be found in the help desk as well. If you're looking for straight access and you don't want to have to go back to desk and find the tile, you can access them directly through these little rectangles here as well. Um, go in. I definitely highly recommend going in and learning some things about your tools in the help center. Um, I believe that maybe I don't think that I want to use a particular tool, but I want to go in and I want to learn as much as I can about it and then determine if it's going to help me build my business, build my brand, and ultimately make more money in 2021 and beyond. Um, so you will find an agent marketing guide here. Just know that this is a little outdated. It has all of our old um, our old logo on it, but that's that's OK. It still has good information. It kind of labels all of the marketing tools and products that we have available to you, kind of lets you know, um, you know, where I can go to get a market report or where should I go to get a postcard? And it's also very interactive. So let's say I really need a printed postcard. Um, I can click here. Um, from the menu in the table of contents on printed postcard. It's going to send me directly to page 10 and I can see my options are express docs. I can go into in touch. I can go into a lot of different places to find. Um, so you'll see here in touch um, up here is express docs. It's going to give me options of different things that I can find and where I can find them. Um, I'm also here as a reference or your field marketing specialist, depending on which office you are in. Please know that we're here to help you with all of these things as well. If you get confused or you can't find something um, or you're getting frustrated, don't be frustrated. Please reach out to us. That is our job. Um, our services are always free to you. And that said, anything that we um, go over with you. They're merely suggestions. They're never requirements for you to be 
uh, employ, uh, an independent contractor and licensed with Coldwell Banker because you are your own boss. Um, you'll also see some professional marketing resources here. Again, that agent marketing guide, very easily accessible. And then digital assets with brand serve. So any new updates, if you need help with the system, if you need to access brand serve, you can click here. It's going to put you straight in to that particular marketing tool. Um, easy access. I don't have to go back to desk, find the tile, and then go into it. You'll find brand serve um, just by clicking through. Um, we also have some other information here. So we have global luxury, um, some information about our branding. So just some rebranding facts um, about going from residential brokerage to realty. Uh, we do have agent production. So all the awards and the information for production are here. Um, again, global luxury. You can look through, see the program. Do you want to become a certified global luxury specialist? Um, how to set the bar and some really great information about the resources available if you have a luxury property. Um, prospecting, there's not too much, but I did save my words that work. So you can click through, kind of check out what's in here. There are some scripts. Uh, these are just suggested conversations for real estate professionals. Again, a little outdated with the logo, but still very relevant information. Um, you know, rehearse, memorize, internalize. How can I do my lead generation and do it more effectively? So it gives you kind of a shortcut there. You'll see that I did hit the heart button um, because I'm not going to remember that I went to marketing. I'm not going to remember I found that in prospecting. I might not remember where I found it. I don't want to be um, frustrated later when I can't think of the title. So I've included it in my favorites and you'll see here it is words that work. I can also click here at any time. It will open that tab for me and I'll be able to find the document that I'm looking for. Um, you'll also see a listing presentation script. And again, if you click on that heart, the favorite was added. I can click now on my favorites and I will find that here at the top. And again, I can open this up manage my favorites, go in and rearrange the order of those as I see fit. Whatever makes the most the most sense to you is the correct way to do it. Um, we do have a PR department, so anytime you have something that might be worthy of a press release, you can contact your field marketing specialist um, or contact the PR team. <coughs> Excuse me. So we also have our marketing tab and under that, we have social media. So that is perhaps one of the most asked questions that I receive from agents is how do I develop a social media strategy? What are some things I can utilize to build my social media presence, to build my sphere of influence, to gain additional leads and prospects that I can then turn into clients? Um, there are some guides here, some social media best practices. There is um, brand serve as well because we know that's where all of our tactics our holidays our fair housing campaigns our commercials videos so many things templates that will assist you with your marketing um, and assist you in celebrating with your clients on social media we also have dare so dynamic ads for real estate if you would like more information um, you can click through here and then probably the money spot here are the social media guides. So how do I create a Facebook business page? How do I take some online courses to learn more about Facebook? Uh, what should be my first steps with Facebook? How do I use Facebook Live? Um, how do I use social media for real estate? And when you click through, again, it will open that in a new tab. This is just a really great article, how to effectively use this for business um, and we'll give you some options. And then when you click through on Facebook, it is going to give you uh, straight, it's gonna send you straight to Facebook because they are the best ones to tell you how to uh, incorporate your business page, how to start that, how to get that running. So how to create a page, create and manage. How do I, if I need to change my page's name, let's say you go to Facebook and you realize you still have residential brokerage on there, can't have that anymore, need to change it. So how do I change my, my page's name? 
Um, you know, how do I merge? Maybe I have two Facebook pages by accident. How do I merge them? How do I invite people, etc.? Um, you know, things to know before you create the page, free tools to use on your page because, hey, I like paid marketing, but I love free marketing too. Um, and then just how to build your page. And this all goes through Facebook. So they're the best people to tell you how to use Facebook. Um, and then if you want to follow some of our Coldwell Banker um, social networks, um, you can do that as well. I like to follow Twitter and on Facebook, you can click through and it's going to send you to the main Caldwell Banker. Um, I love this. This gives me an opportunity to go through and share this to my business page. I just need to select my business page. This was the commercial that Guaranteed Rate had in the Super Bowl. I kind of geeked out a little. I was very excited. I'm a huge NASCAR fan, so I was very excited to see this. Um, and it was very cool to see our lenders, our affiliates in the Super Bowl. Um, so that's something that I can share now on my Facebook page if I want to. Um, I can also go to our Gen Blue group. Um, again, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. Um, I can go and I can find Caldwell Banker on all of these things. Um, also, you'll find um, under my business. Um, you're going to find some information for working with buyers and sellers. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll see some cover letters in here. Maybe I'm working with a for sale by owner, so I have that FISBO, and I want to send a letter, but I'm not quite sure what to say. Um, you'll see once I've clicked on that, it's going to come up down here at the bottom. I can pull that up, and that's going to give me a great um, letter just to start out with something that I can put through, um, you know, on, I want to make sure that I'm printing it on stationary. It could be stationary that I've created in the office or that I've purchased through express docs and it just gives, and I can go in and customize this. I can personalize it for that specific client, but I don't have to recreate the wheel. I don't have to start from scratch. Um, you'll also see um, one of the biggest things I always like to point out with Desk is we have an education tab. And I know that a lot of times agents, you guys have very different schedules. I have some agents I know that that are up all hours of the night doing these things. Um, you know, maybe it's when you wake up in the morning and have a cup of coffee, or maybe it's after, you know, everyone's gone to bed and you have a few moments of silence. Um, you can put those earbuds in and kind of watch something. Um, you can follow through. We have education, virtual education expos. So this is something that Cobble Banker started at the height of the pandemic. They saw a need that needed to be fulfilled. Um, all of the sessions were recorded. There are links to the presentations for easy access. So if you weren't here at the time or if you missed them or you just want to go over them again, um, you can see any upcoming events or also view the past presentations. So the reason that I really like pointing this out um, is there are some very good, uh, some very good information in here. You'll see here the next session that's coming up, preparing to ace the spring market. I love that they're doing this in February, just as the spring market starts to hit. Um, so we'll be very prepared and then you'll be able to see some past sessions in here as well. Um, so I can go in and view the recording. I can view the presentation. I can go through to the CBU Learning Center to get some additional resources for training for my career. Go straight to Sales Pro and see what webinars and marketing workshops and um, education workshops are available to me. Um, so I can click in. You'd have to go, um, click to log in here. I'm not sure if it'll let me log in or not as an employee, um, but you can, oh, it did. So you can go in and you can see there are a lot of courses in here available to you. Um, so, you know, goal projecting, how to have a great day, sphere of influence, how do I work my sphere of influence, virtual learning. Um, so there are six different courses. These are all free to you. Um, so I know some of you that have come from other brokerages where they charge an arm and a leg for these courses. Uh, Cobalt Banker doesn't do that. It really is just designed to help you grow your business um, and to make more money. Um, and there are also some agent scripts down here. I always like to 
put push those out there as self paced um, so you can go in and learn at your own pace. Once we click through, it's just going to pull up and there are different scripts here. Do I want scripts for my sphere of influence for working with sellers, financing, uh, objection handling, FISBOs? So what do I want to work with? Um, and how you know how do I call a referral? I'm new to real estate, so how do I work with my sphere of influence? Um, so I'm new to real estate, and it's going to give me some options of what to say. Um, and this is where I do like to make my screen a lot bigger so that I can read um, some of it if it's really really tiny. Um, so just know that this is here. There's a whole learning library in here just different scripts and things for you to utilize. Again, the intention is to help you grow your business and to make more money. Um, so you'll learn about some virtual education expos here. What is the purpose? What are they for? Um, and also this month at product. Um, so that's another thing that they do. I believe it is the um, third Wednesday of the month. Um, so it's once a month, it's going to kind of show us a pipeline of what's up and coming. Um, so about two months before they incorporated CBX into Moxie, they had that presented at this month at product. It was something that agents were asking for. We would really like the opportunity to take the information in the CBX buyer locator and showcase it directly in our Moxie listing presentation. We want to wow the seller. Um, we want to add to our value proposition. And that's really what all these tools are developed and built for. None of the tools themselves are going to sell you. You're going to sell yourself, um, but they give you the confidence and the know-how to wow your sellers, to wow your buyers, to be impressive, to have that extra boost of confidence that it's going to take to sell yourself and to get that extra client. And again, that extra paycheck. Um, also, we have CB distinction. You can find a little bit more about that. It's going to let you know uh, maybe you're new or you've been around for a while. It's going to go through all of the different resources to help you build your business in more detail. And then, of course, we have Sales Pro. Um, you can access the calendar here. Find out how to register for events or classes or continuing ed that's provided by Caldwell Banker. And you can also access the CE shop. And in case you weren't aware, you can get a 30% discount, um, which reminds me I need to go in and do my continuing ad as well and just enter that code CB30. Um, so you'll see down at the bottom some CBU courses that are just here. Um, they've been updated in August. You can go in and see what is available. We have AMP, uh, Lead Gen, Sphere of Influence. I did take that. That was excellent. Outlist Outlast, I did work with an agent that's been in the business with Coldwell Banker for over 30 years. Um, he took that and he absolutely loved it. Um, so just know that they're in here, business planning, anything that you need. Um, and if there's something here that you don't see and you're looking for, please reach out and let us know uh, because that's something we would definitely like to look into for you. Um, there are some forms in here. Um, we have alphabetized them to make it a little bit easier. There's a commission calculator. Again, that lovely email signature tutorial to make sure that you are up and running accordingly. Um, and there are two pages in here, just be aware, um, that are in there as well. And then partners and services. Um, so maybe you want a little bit more information about our affiliates, about what Coldwell Banker has to offer. Um, I do believe Property Frameworks has been updated, so we are working on updating that in this field. Um, but you'll be able to see our business advantage, uh, insurance agency, the American Home Shield warranty, uh, the home protection plan that we can offer our clients, guaranteed rate affinity, our lenders, entitlement and settlement with Mid-Atlantic Settlement Services. I always do like to point out the business advantage um, just for you or for your clients. These are things, they are VIP access to different products. <coughs> me. If you are um, have a cell phone carrier with any of the major networks, AT&T, Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, you can go through and see that you do get uh, percentage off of some services and accessories. So just know that's available there for you. 
um, as you go through, you'll see different things. If you're buying a computer, um, different options that you have, just go through and kind of look through and see. And also, I also like to point out pods. If you have clients who are moving, um, it's always nice to be able to say, you know, if you need to get a pod with the promotion cold, they can get 10% off and who doesn't like to save money. Um, so you'll see just different things here. Um, again, go through, look through, see what's there for you um, and what would benefit your business or your clients um, to help you again, add to that value. Um, up here, you'll see that we do have a search bar. This bar at the top is more like a Google search. Um, so if I type in social media and hit the enter button, um, I'm going to get 262 results and they will be sorted by relevance. So here I'm going to see social media. That's most likely going to put me through into the marketing and to the social media. Um, and then I'm also going to find best practices, the request form, different things on brand serve, how to manage your brand across social media. So here we can see this was in the news. So I can click on that. That came out on April 2nd, 2020 from CB Briefs. And it just gives me a little bit more information. Um, if I really like the article, I can let them know. Um, and this is also something that um, you know, it's going to help me to build my business. So that consistency there. Um, I can also go back to desk by clicking desk at any time. And that's going to set me back to my original screen. Um, and when it comes to the tiles, um, again, they've added um, or changed it just a little bit. So if you're scrolling down, if you want to see everything that you have included, you can hit show all. If you're not finding a tool that you're looking for on this main screen, we can add an app here. Um, we can also scroll to the bottom and add an app here. And these are just additional applications that can be added to my home screen, things that I may or may not be using on a daily basis. Um, mine will definitely be a little bit different than yours because I'm not buying and selling real estate. Um, so you may have some things that are different, but that is how you would add them. You would just click on it um, and hit the add button here, and it's going to add that to your main screen. So you'll see it added that app on the very top left hand side. I can always drag and drop that somewhere else. Or if I determine that's not something that I go in very frequently, I can X off of it. It's not gone forever. It's just in that background filter. Um, so you really can customize this page as you see fit for things that you're using frequently. Um, I find that it makes doing business much more streamlined, much, much easier. Um, I used to have everything saved in 5,000 folders and bookmarks and trying to go toggle back and forth between them. Now there's just one place where everything lives. It's easily accessible and very easy to view. You can also go through um, next to the heart and the waffle menu. You'll find a small circle with a question mark. Um, so this is going to be your help center. This is really a fantastic place to go to just learn a little bit more about the tools that are available to you as a Coldwell Banker Realty agent. Um, I can click through there's and they're in alphabetical order. Um, there's some training resources here again, the COVID-19 information. Excuse me. I can go through, I can look at a welcome for brand serve, how to measure my success. I can view all and it's going to give me some information. I really am a fan of the facts going in and learning facts about. Um, so you'll see this one's coming soon. So shame on me for clicking on that one. I'll let them know that they need to get that in there soon. Um, but there are different, uh, just go through and kind of look through. You'll find some different information for all of the big heavy hitters that we have. Um, for example, if we click on Prospect Square and we click on Facts um, and click through, this is what you'll see for most of them, Moxie, et cetera. Um, so what market is it available in? It's available in all markets. What is Prospect Square? So this is how we nurture our sphere of influence. We stay connected with them. We have market and area reports. 
Um, you know, why is it beneficial? How do I update information? And these are all things that your field marketing specialist can help you with as well. But if you like to dive in and learn on your own, these things are available for you. Um, I also like the fact that we have breadcrumbs. Um, so I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning if I don't want, unless that's where I need to be. I can click here instead of hitting the back button. It's going to take me into my former screen. Um, I can go in and kind of look at some training resources. There is a training video. Um, we don't have clients for life just yet. Hopefully later this year we will get that as well. But there's a quick start guide. So some of these help centers do have a start guide. I can get introduced to that program. That's blue, so I know that's a hyperlink. Once I click on that, it's going to pull me up a 44, 40 page um, presentation that I can go through and just get um, a little bit more of an introduction on Prospect Square. It's going to let me know how, you know, what are the reports that are included? What are they? How do I use them? How do I get started? What does the dashboard look like? What does it do? How do I update my profile to make it very robust to make sure that all of my information is included? How do I add contacts and groups, et cetera? And let's say this looks very overwhelming because it looks very overwhelming to me. Um, I'm going to go through and maybe tackle a few things, come back the next day, and then move on to contacts. Maybe take a couple days and then go into groups. And then, you know, when I want to come back through, I can just pick up where I left off by clicking through, and it's going to shoot me down to page 19 and down to those reports and let me know a little bit more about them. So just know that those are here um, for you as you you know learn a little bit more about the tools. Some of them you'll go through. Um, so training resources for in touch. Um, there's a quick start guide, training materials, marketing center. When we click through, um, this is going to give us a lot of good information. Now you can find this information in the help center and in touch. But I like it because it, it gives us the most requested training pieces. So how do I use InTouch mobile? How do I add an image to an email? Um, how do I customize my website or just even just set up my account? Um, maybe I want to improve my search engine optimization. So you can see it goes from very basic to very advanced. Um, and again, you can just click through. They are hyperlinked and it's going to send you into the system. Um, in touch is powered by market leader, so it's going to send you into the background system and give you those step by step directions um, to get everything situated. Now that is something your SSA should be helping with setting up your in touch, um, but definitely we want to go through and read some of that just to make sure that we are in the know. Um, and there's a complete guide in here to lead generation with in touch and we know lead generation is really um, really how we make our money. Uh, there are some webinars in here to watch, et cetera. So just go through and kind of look through your help center. Um, if there's a specific tool that you really want to get to know better, you want to see what that does, you know, what is exclusive look? How do I, how do I work that? Um, you know, welcome to exclusive look and it's very short and sweet. So, you know, if you need to get some pre-market exposure, if you have some wants or needs, if you want to price test the listing without going into days on the market, et cetera, exclusive look is for you. Um, and again, I can go back and hit this desk button at any time or this desk button and get back to the very front page. One other thing you'll notice are notifications. So I have this little bell here. It's letting me know exclusive look. We'll have some system maintenance that was on the third. I'm going to mark that as red. Um, again, that improved look. It's always going to give me some notice um, and learn here about the latest desk upgrades. So again, we asked via this feedback button over here on the side and um, you'll see there's a subtle color again, green for marketing, blue for productivity, black for education, etc. cetera. Um, they added those rings of color. Um, you also have the list and the grid view available. So that was something that agents specifically requested to sort by alphabet, to filter, et cetera. 
Um, and once you're done reading, you can delete that. And now I have no new notifications. Um, if you get stuck in desk, you're looking for something, you can't find it, you can open up the chat at any time. Um, just let them know. Um, And you'll see they were very quick to respond the same minute that I came in. Welcome. What desk application are you seeking assistance with? So they may not do a deep dive with you, but if you're stuck on something and you have a question, um, it's easily accessible here for you. And that is a live person on the other end. It's going to help you out with that. <coughs> also, if you have any feedback, if you want to rate your experience, um, you can do that. Tell us about your experience. This is where you want to give your feedback. If that's, um, you know, where agents have, have gone to say, you know, we'd like a little bit of color or we'd like to have a filter or we'd like to be able to, you know, sort alphabetically. Um, there you go. Um, so the chat is there, and then we also have our profile up here. Um, so you can reset your homepage layout here. Profile is just going to feed directly from Trident, so there really isn't much that we can do with that. Um, and then we can always get back to those to those settings. Um, if you have a an, an unlicensed assistant or a licensed assistant that works for you, if you're on a team, there is delegation access there as well. You can reach out to your field marketing specialist. We can give you a little more information on that. And again, those favorites, those notifications, and making sure all the applications are turned on. Um, I've put my photo up there. I do believe in the future they would like to have a method where you can put your profile in one place and it will transfer everywhere. Um, I know that there's some coding that they're working on for that. Um, but that basically is desk in a nutshell. Again, some of the updates that we've had recently, some of the old school things that we've had for a while. Um, and here you can also access, you know, pages, people, news, the help center, apps, everything that you need to get your business up and running um, and to continue doing business and to do more business in 2021. Um, so I know we kind of went a little quickly over some of that. Um, like I said, hopefully the recording will work today. Um, and does anyone have any questions with that said? You can type them in the chat if you want to unmute yourselves. Okay. Um, well, with that, we can end a little bit early. There really isn't anything else um, for me to, to show. Um, so I'll go ahead and stop the recording.